Hey, Don Coben with Cold Essie and the Compress IUV 600S here. Today we're going to be printing on cell phone cases. So we're going to show you a couple things and we're going to walk over to the software and get started with that. What we've done here is we started out and we actually printed out rectangles all over the bed for our representative of our 15 cell phone cases. Then we've actually come in here and just laid these cases in. This is something I would do if I was not going to do a large run continually on with these. Otherwise, I'd build a jig. But if you just need to do a moderate size run, one time type of thing, this is the best way to do it, especially cell phone cases, because they're in so many different sizes and shapes. We're going to show you uh, how we would handle loading. If you already loaded the bed, before I send these in, I want to make sure that I move them underneath. There's actually a light system, laser, whatever you want to call it right here, that checks the print head height. If I hit this button here, it says up. If I bring it up until I actually hit with the beam the object, it'll hit red and it's going to drop it down to the right height. Once I've done that, I hit the load button. And as I load this, it's actually going to check all these other cell phone cases that goes across. I'm going to be cognizant of the fact of if there's any radical changes here in height. There might be some slight variations. I'm not worried if I see some slight variations of it. So now we're loaded up. It's telling me it's ready for us to print. So we're going to go ahead and send the job over right now. All right, as you can see, the printer is starting to run here. We sent this over. This is what we call our production mode, which is a bi-directional, which means we're printing both directions, left and right, as we advance the bed. And this is a bi-directional 720 by 720 uh, DPI print, which what we find, for the most part, is excellent for this type of printing that we're doing. Um, it, there's no reason to get carried away and do deeper than that, unless you have some really high detail, especially on something like cell phone cases. So that's what we're doing right now is we're printing those out. And man, these are flying through. We're already about 25% of the way through. Uh, we're into our second row of phones already. Okay, as you see, we got them printing right here, right now. And you'll notice there's a little bit of overspray here. That's intentional. It's not a big deal, guys. These beds are made out of silicone. They're easy to clean up. That's why we print them as, as to do our outline. So that way we're getting a nice full wrap. You see we're actually coming around the edges of the cell phone case. Again, 96 cents to print 15 of these. We get crazy, we call it 7 cents a piece. You can see why it's so profitable to print on the cell phone cases. And you can do custom, and it's going to cost you about this thing. Just about done here. We're about halfway through the last cell phone case. The cool thing about this that we don't think about all the time is, oh, my we can pick these up. These are dry. And as you can see right there, the quality of the image that we're uh, being able to print here. The upside, too, is if I were doing production, I would actually would probably build a jig for these. Short run, I would do something like this. But this means if I had a jig, I could be picking these up and reloading the next series of cell phone cases onto this so we were ready to go. As soon as it ejects, I'm only repopulating the last row or two, whichever it takes to get it done. But, man, look at that quality. And, by the way, less than seven cents to print that. How high quality is that? And what can you charge your customers for that kind of embellishment? See a couple more here. This would be our standard. It's like a wood grain. So that would be printing out on custom cell phone cases using the Compress IUV 600S, printing it out of our design that we set up in our Compress designer software using the Compress RIP, printing it out for less than seven cents a piece. We're able to generate these. I didn't run our timer on this, but I, I don't even think this whole video is run as six or seven minutes total of real work time. Great, great high profit opportunity with your printer and uh, just another way that you can make money with the Compress IUV 600S.